Hey everyone, this is a guitar tutorial for New Name Written Down in Glory by Charity Gale. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel or give this video a like and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Additionally, if you're interested in any of the gear that I'm using today, there are links in the description below. All right, grab your guitar and a pick and let's get started. Okay, so the key of the song is D. You don't need a cable to play the song, but there are some strange chords that you may encounter. So. Here are the chords that you need to know. D, G, A, B minor, D over F sharp, G minor, a C bar chord, and a D bar chord. Now, why are there two different types of Ds, if you caught that? Well, the bridge happens to have those bar chords, and they happen to be very, very fast. Instead of playing a C, D progression, like an open chord style, I would suggest playing a bar chord. So I know I'm kind of working backwards here, but here's the bridge of the song, I am who I am because the I am tells me who I am. This is where you see that. So here's C and D really fast. Seriously, that's all it is. But to break it down, you have your index finger on the third fret, A string, ring finger and pinky on the D and G strings, fifth fret. There's the C bar chord. And I'm not necessarily barring the third fret, so I'm kind of using that term loosely. Sorry if you're being a purist. Then I'm gonna slide that up two frets, and now I have a D chord. So to play that really slowly, looks like this. I know that's very simple, but see if you can just practice that alone before you play the entire song. Going back to the very beginning of the song, we have the intro, and that starts on a G. Now the keyboards carry the weight of the beginning, so I would suggest backing off until your worship leader starts singing the verse, or you can start with the keyboards, but be really low in the mix. Your strumming pattern's gonna look like this. G, A, B minor, G, A, B minor. So I'm palm muting uh, through those chords and I'm just going G, A, and B minor. Very easy. When the pre-chorus starts, you're gonna do the same chords, but you're gonna throw a D over F sharp in there and keep palm muting until you get to the chorus. The chorus strumming pattern could vary, but it would sound something like this. Now, I know that was kind of weird. I didn't say the chords that I was playing there, but don't worry. When we go through the song, I'm going to say the chords as we go, and you'll see them on the screen also. All right, get ready. Here we go. G. A. B minor. G. A. B minor. G. A. B minor, G, break, D over F sharp, G, A, B minor, G, another break, D over F sharp, G, A, B minor, D, G, A, B minor, D, G, A, Sharp G. A. D over F sharp G. D. D over F sharp G. A. D over F sharp G. A. B minor. G. Break. D over F sharp G. A. B minor, G, break, D over F sharp G, A, B minor, D over F sharp G, A, B minor, D over F sharp G, 
A, B minor, G minor. F sharp G A D over F sharp G D D over F sharp G A D over F sharp G D D over F sharp G A D over F sharp G D F sharp G A Feel F sharp G D C D C D C G G minor D D over C G G minor Break Sharp G A D over F sharp G D D over F sharp G A D over F sharp G G A D over F sharp G G A D over F sharp G Well, everyone, I hope that tutorial helped you out. There was one chord I forgot to mention, and that was in the bridge. That's D over C, which sounds confusing, but really, it's not. You're just going to play a D chord, but put your middle finger on the A string third fret. and It sounds like this. Pretty neat chord, um, but the difference between that and a regular D is... I'm not going to strum that bottom E string. I'm just going to focus on that lower A string note. Just to have that different sound. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out. If it did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button also. And don't forget to comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. God bless.